Hi guys, this is Jan Callum from KHL Motorsport. I hope you guys are having an awesome time or you had a great day behind you. I don't know what time you guys would be watching this video. But anyway, I hope you have a pleasant moment in time. We're again updating you guys on Project Hyundai Coupe All-Wheel Drive. And before we give you some exhaustive updates, so to speak, uh, I'd like to clarify a few things regarding our project. Why do this conversion on a Hyundai Coupe? Why make it four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive? First of all, why not? Uh, second of all, I guess it's a good project to show you guys, you know, to inspire you guys. So that maybe it's a project that not necessarily you would emulate our project or copy our project, but to show certain possibilities and to excite you guys and maybe you do a crazy project of your own. Obviously, four-wheel drive would give a lot of dynamic advantages to, to handling as compared to front-wheel drive, get more traction, you have the ability to power over steer. The most important reason why we want to do a four-wheel drive base, we like to drive four-wheel drive car in a motorsport event or a time trial or something and really feel it. You know, feel how a four-wheel drive car is like when you're really ringing it, you know, ringing it heavily, pushing it to the absolute limit. It's not really the power, it's more of the handling the driving characteristic of four-wheel drive again another concern is what people have is why not stick with the original engine of the car the 1997 coupe or Timuron came with a two-liter Hyundai beta engine which is a very robust engine and people have been pumping crazy amounts of horsepower on these things especially in Korea and the US the, the beta is actually a very good platform but why not stick with it well, it's gonna be hard for a guy like me in the Philippines to find an appropriate four-wheel drive transmission that will hold on to that engine. So, to source one, I have to find it in the US or I'll find it in Korea. I don't know where the heck we'll be able to find such a, a drivetrain. And um, to ship it also will be another adventure. That's not really the problem, but the major problem with that is I don't know how much power the four-wheel drive transmissions of, uh, let's say, the Tucson's or the Sportages that those transmissions could be found. To find a manual four-wheel drive transmission that would hold on to the Beta would be difficult. And these guys don't tell me to adapt a 4G63 EVO transmission on the Beta. I know that's possible with an appropriate adapter plate just a little bit more extra money just get the whole evo drivetrain with the engine and all that and that's what we did and also considering that the engine has or is already turbocharged it saves us the cost of buying a turbo a manifold engine management to get the turbocharged beta running so in effect it's actually cheaper to do this engine swap up labor aside parts if you're just talking about parts it's cheaper to just swap on over the EV4 powertrain with the engine transmission transfer case than to go with the beta and then and number two don't worry we did not forget about the two liter beta G4 GF engine that came with the coupe stay tuned while we uh, document that project it's gonna be probably the next video and again, the next and final question is, what are our goals uh, for the project? Um, we want to drive a four-wheel drive car to the absolute limit in motorsport or in a gymkhana or in slalom, maybe even in, in, in circuit. We're not interested in a lot of power. This is not going to be a drag car. Maybe we'd be happy with 300 horsepower at the wheels and and keep the stock turbo, keep the stock drivability of the car while having while having more boost and having a bit more power. We're not interested to make it the absolute fastest car on the street. It's gonna be fast, 
unless you're gauging against supercars and GTRs and all those fancy cars and and the tight courses that are our gym canas our slaloms our autocrosses I think 300 horsepower is gonna be more than enough way more than enough it might be even too much but it's gonna be primarily a street car it's gonna look mostly stock as stock as possible yeah okay let's go now to the updates on the car I, we're almost done with the bottom part of the car uh, we're already starting to work on the upper portion that we don't really necessarily need the lifter anymore to access certain parts first thing we did is to create this battery tray so this battery tray is fit for a 2SM size battery which is a stock size battery of the Hyundai Coupe very very rigidly mounted to the chassis this is the same setup the same location as our other project the Elantra V6 because the engine bay is gonna be pretty crowded and the battery we kind of thought that to relocate it would be the best idea yeah we don't exactly have a battery for it right now we have to buy and of course we st I still have to have the guys test fit the bumper um, supposedly these radiators these heat exchangers they supposedly clear the bumper so I think the battery tray will also clear the bumper so anyway we'll I'll get that checked um, let's discuss the exhaust this car has a full system exhaust okay not <laughs> not every uh, piece of the exhaust is stainless there are uh, mild steel components here because I'll explain it later but um, I, I think the light is a bit weak let me get my okay here's a torch on my other cell phone all right um, I don't know if you guys could see the down pipe from the turbo it's already an aftermarket stainless steel piece eBay item it's for an Evo 8 fitment so anyway it fits the Evo 4 just fine then we got also this Evo 8 downpipe we had to modify this we had to extend this part about one inch we added more material so that it does not hit the oil pan so we were, ab we were able to do that and now it fits fine again it's for an Evo 8 but uh, it was pretty pretty close to what we needed for this chassis and for this Evo 4 engine so it was fine then this is a flexible pipe this is mild steel I think and then to complete the rest of the exhaust we've added in some stainless steel piping which then converts to mild steel piping towards this resonator this section is actually from a surplus shop so this part was from an aftermarket exhaust surplus exhaust from a GC8 we wanted to put a resonator in it to attempt changing the tone and attempt um, reducing noise but since basically the inside of this is pretty wrecked it won't work to reduce noise but it would resonate and change the frequency of the tone so anyway this is a turbocharged car so it's not gonna be that loud but let's see how this will this will sound I'm very curious to hear it again continued with the stainless then again this muffler becomes a mild steel muffler it is a JDM thrust muffler so it's legit JDM JDM guys don't know if you guys care about JDM so it's a thrust super tuning system muffler aiming at real competitions well we'll see we'll see if we could really get to compete 
the muffler terminates here. Actually, this is a this is really a mid uh, mid pipe canister that we repurposed to be the end muffler. So it does not really have a proper tip. It's basically just part of the exhaust piping that we just cut very roughly without even sanding it. Anyway, it's all rough. We'll clean it up as and when the car is close to completion. It's anyway very easy. It fits, seems to fit very well. Yeah, seems to look good. Okay, this is all three inch except for the two and a half inch. Um, uh, what do you say that the down pipe from the turbo and then it becomes three inches as it comes down problem with this exhaust will be It might be too low. So this is the floor of the car and the brakes Might be a touch too low, but let's see uh, I don't know if you guys remember in the last episode the subframe has been hacked very much I right, to clear this part so what we decided to do is get this brace made this was a piece that we have made for the V6 that we did not reuse when we swapped it over so this thing is heavily modified to clear the exhaust but hopefully this will give some sort of rigidity uh, but until then guys this is it for me thank you so much for watching the video I hope that uh, you guys would subscribe to our YouTube channel it is uh, Kohol TV on YouTube we are uh, Kohol Garage on Facebook we are KHL Motorsport on Instagram thank you guys so much have a pleasant day have a pleasant evening and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And anyway, guys, take care. See you. God bless.